30. Yeah, we're at 30 right now, so we're gonna bust out the winter gear today. So, we found a campsite. <laughs> the first come first serve is really tricky. We got to where we wanted to go and it was all full. Right on the lake. Yeah, it was right beautiful. Right below the Tetons, it was absolutely beautiful. Um, we were too late, so we went a little further north and now we're at Headwater Campground. We're out of the we're out of the Teton um, National Park, but we're uh, but we're still got a place. we're still close, so we can yeah, definitely only, go to only forty five minutes. And we're actually pretty close to Yellowstone too. So where we plan to stay in Yellowstone is a little bit higher up in the state park. So we're going to cover more of the south part of Yellowstone while we're staying here. So I think it's going to work out really well. Actually, we have reservations until this campground closes, which is October first. Mm -hmm. So pretty amazing that we got it um, they <clears> keep uh what they say like 10 sites or something available for, for walk-ins yeah uh, and that's First us so uh, it's hard to see through we the did trees the best but the, scenic view the out tetons of all the are in the back through those pine trees right there so we are on the edge of we're on the edge of the park so well, we're we uh we can see it all. I mean, it's it's pretty awesome. Yeah, and we showed you guys how it was snowing earlier. It was kind of snowing on and off throughout different parts of the Tetons. And then when we checked in here, they were saying how that's actually really helpful because it'll clear the smoke away from all the fires. And all the wimpy on. campers too. They had <laughs> yeah. a lot of cancellations. So yeah. So because of the snow, we're like, eh, we don't care. And she's we're like, here. it actually makes it more beautiful because it clears away kind of the smoke and smog from the um, from the fires um, out west. But yeah, so we're excited. I think it's it's lunchtime now, so we're gonna get everything unpacked. We're gonna have some lunch, and then we'll probably explore a little bit more today. Mid forties. Uh, it's a little colder. Right I now, think it's gonna be the coldest day for sure. Um, but then we're gonna explore, and tomorrow we want to do an entire day, obviously, in the Tetons. And um, the mountains are oh my gosh, they're beautiful. beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. I can't wait to take better more pictures and close ups and. So yeah. And it finally so, stopped snowing. Yeah. So, it scared a lot of people off, but it was good for us. So it worked out for us. We got a little corner site. Um, yeah. Not much to the site, to be honest with you. Well, it's pretty basic. It's that's where the tent would go if we were doing it, but we're not just because we kind of all decided as a family the car is just not too bad. So I think we're just gonna I think we're official vanigans. Yeah, we're gonna stick with the car. Stick in there, we'll get our stuff out and be pretty easy it's warm no wind yeah and if it does snow our tent's not rated for anything snow so Fan but anyway After checking in, settling in, and a late lunch, we decided to explore the campground. Call her the rooftop. She needs a name. Um. Kids, 
What should we call this rooftop carrier? She needs a name. You need rooftop Rhonda. Rooftop Rhonda? All right. Rhonda's Rhonda. her name. Rooftop Rhonda to be exact. Rhonda. Rooftop Rhonda was picked up on a Facebook site for free. Actually, Craigslist. I don't know who uses Craigslist anymore, but it was from Craigslist. It was free. Needed a lot of work. Got her all fixed up for the trip. She houses a lot of stuff. I'll tell you that. Bella has even climbed in there and uh, closed the lid. And Bella, Ian, and probably two of her friends can fit in there. So we brought our 10 person cabin tent, but it just dips down into the 20s. So we don't have a tent heater or anything. This is a fair weather tent anyway. Um, nice view. The bears are going to come right in here. So we're going to sleep in the car tonight and probably for the rest of the trip. So I'm going to reorganize this to allow for the tent to be in the back because we're oh, never going to access it. There's your bears. And then all the other stuff we have in there. So that's what we're doing oh, right no. now. And then we're going to go get wood. Monday? Oh no, it's Monday. Monday today. Monday. It's nice not knowing the days. Uh, <laughs> got a little cold last night. Very cold. We have uh, frost on everything and all the ice on all the water puddles are frozen solid. Um, when we got out of bed at 7 or so, uh, it was 20. But the lady said it dipped down into the near 14 last night all the all the campers around us are thawing out their water lines so hopefully last night was the coldest hopefully we don't have to do that it again. was a little cold we did not start the van we did not tent like we said um we were not going to anyway but everything is frozen our water jugs are frozen um everything is frozen so we did fire up the van about seven o'clock to uh cut the chill in the van uh the kids are not ready to get up yet they are watching a B movie. Hi. <coughs> so, even though we're glamping semi, uh, can't get rid of the, the movies for the kids. So, it's um, a dry shampoo type of day. I was in the bathroom and I heard ladies say, the water's not getting warm, so I'm super scared to take a cold shower. And I gave Brandon some dry shampoo. Hence I got the Frohawk, courtesy of the Grand Tetons. <laughs> So, I think it looks nice. <laughs> no real plan today except for hiking. No, um, we, yeah, that is the plan. We're going to make well, some sandwiches and get like lunch packed go up. Go down to the lake. Go Kids want to pile day. some rocks. I think we'll spend the day by the so, mountain and hike around and all that. So. But it's a beautiful, beautiful Monday morning. Uh, anything beats working. So <laughs> had a nice fire last night. Our had burgers. Our campground was all out of firewood so we had to go huh, playing with the sun had to go down a uh, half hour to get firewood so we did and that's about it i think we're gonna skip breakfast today um have an early go, lunch maybe maybe an early lunch and go burn some calories <laughs> so happy monday all right we hiked up our first hike in the Tetons. Uh, it's about a mile and a half to a lake that's at the very top. This is Taggart Lake, Taggart Lake Trail. Look at what's at top. Oh my gosh, it's beautiful. We got a bunch of pictures and we're gonna eat lunch right here. Yeah, the kids are playing around. The water is crystal clear. There's some fish Hi. in there. All we've seen is about three inch fish and some minnows and whatnot, but. Bella's in my shoe. Anyway. This family's all over the place taking, taking lunch and that's what we're gonna do, so. <laughs> Absolutely breathtaking.
mama bear digging in the pantry <laughs> at night. Mama bear's hungry. Gotta get us some more. Good morning. Um, Tuesday today. Oh, afternoon. Afternoon. It's 11.30. We didn't get up until 9.50 today. Um, it wasn't as cold as the night before, so it was pretty comfortable. Um, Yep, we got up, got breakfast, got ready to go, and now we're gonna go to Jenny Lake. There's a whole area on Jenny Lake. There's got like a little boat taxi thing and some more hiking, so that's our plan today. You guys we're are hash browns. Hash browns for the first hash time. Hash browns out of for a carton. breakfast. Costco. Yeah. But uh, there was a lot in there. There was a lot. Couldn't even eat them all. There was a chipmunk around Brandon's feet while he was making breakfast. I had a helper. Everyone yep. else was in the van. I wasn't. <laughs> I wasn't, I was making lunches and getting ready. So, all right, here we go. We'll let you know what we find. We just got back from another day of hiking at the Tetons and it was another beautiful day. <laughs> um, we just got back here, we're all pretty tired and um, we're having dinner. So I am having chili with avocados and tortilla chips. Bella's having soup. The boys are having SpaghettiOs. Hi. Oh yeah, classic SpaghettiOs, baby. <laughs> Brandon is really, really good on this camp stove. It works so well. Um, yeah, dinners are done really quickly. So we're gonna eat. Can we open a present tonight? <laughs> they want a present. They want a present. Yeah. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. It's Wednesday. It's 26. And it's October. No. It's not October yet. It's September. It's September 30th. September 30th. 30th. Sure. <sighs> this is what it looks like when we wake up. It's freezing. It's not that bad. It's only 26. It's, <laughs> it's 26. But this is how you we can sleep. Be down. No, freezing. And they wake up a little hyper. 26 degrees. They're still snuggled in up there. Day 30, we're trying to get going. Wednesday the 30th. Oh yeah. Good morning, babe. Hi. What you, uh, what's for dinner? Noodles, pasta, and garlic bread. Bella's gonna have pesto sauce. We're gonna have marinara sauce with it. Bread. I'm sorry. We had a good time uh, hiking but today. That I brought. Saw a lake. Absolutely beautiful. It's a short hike. About an hour to get up there. <laughs> so, well worth it. Those are all done. We have here. some hungry bellies, though. Really hungry bellies. I had my partial dinner of ibuprofen. Not used to hiking that much. Not sleep well last night. 
No, didn't sleep well. It's a little cold. Night's supposed to be better. Um, I have garlic garlic actually. You want some? Sure. That'd be good, honey. I know right where it is. <laughs> This is not how the offer is. What? Can I have some air in there? Is that okay? Yeah. Don't touch it. Don't touch it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Good day today. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I think today is my favorite day. Oh, uh, mine too. Okay, it wasn't cold. Mm. In the middle. Mm -hmm. it, it was a little chilly, but. We really enjoyed our stay at Headwaters. Grand Tetons National Park did not disappoint. Join us on the next episode when we travel into Yellowstone.